Welcome to Wildest Cruise Ship Stories, where we bring you the most outrageous and unbelievable tales from the high seas. Are you ready for the wildest cruise ship story you'll ever hear? Get ready to set sail on a journey full of twists, turns, and unexpected setbacks. From mechanical malfunctions to weather disasters, these stories will have you on the edge of your seat. In this episode, we'll be hearing about the ultimate cruise ship nightmare, a toilet paper crisis. Join us as we follow this cruise ship journey through this bizarre and hilarious ordeal. Our story begins on a beautiful day in the Caribbean, as our hero boards a luxurious cruise ship with high hopes and a sense of adventure. But little does he know, the journey he's about to undertake will test his resolve and push him to the brink. Meet Peter, a man on the verge of a breakdown, struggling with a failing marriage and a need for escape. He sets off on a cruise ship hoping to find some peace and clarity. But what he finds instead is a problem that will test his patience and sense of humor. This is the story of the Great Toilet Paper Crisis, a tale that will have you questioning whether you'll ever set foot on a cruise ship again. Peter stepped onto the cruise ship with a heavy heart and a sense of nervous excitement. He had been looking forward to this trip for months, hoping to escape the stress and tension of his failing marriage. As he walked through the lavish lobby, he couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt for leaving his wife behind. But he knew he needed this time for himself, to clear his head and figure out what he really wanted in life. As the ship set sail, Peter immersed himself in the activities on board. He spent his days lounging by the pool, sipping cocktails, and chatting with new friends. He even signed up for a few excursions, eager to explore the beautiful destinations on their itinerary. But on the second day of the cruise, disaster struck. As Peter was getting ready for breakfast, he noticed that there was no toilet paper in his cabin's bathroom. He shrugged it off at first, thinking it was just a minor oversight. But as the day went on, he noticed that the toilet paper shortage seemed to be a ship-wide problem. It wasn't until he overheard a couple of cabin stewards whispering in the hallway that he learned the truth. Apparently, a water pipe had burst in a storeroom and soaked all of the spare toilet paper. With no way to restock, the ship was in a dire situation. The cabin stewards scrambled to come up with a solution, moving rolls of toilet paper from low-use cabins to high-use ones in an effort to stretch their supplies as far as possible. Peter couldn't believe what was happening. He had paid good money for this luxury cruise, and now he was forced to ration his toilet paper like some kind of modern-day pirate. As the days went on, the situation only got worse. The toilet paper situation was a closely guarded secret, and the ship's crew did their best to keep the guests in the dark. But the rumor mill was in full swing, and it wasn't long before everyone on board was talking about the great toilet paper crisis of this cruise. Peter found himself getting more and more frustrated as the days went on. He had hoped this trip would be a chance to relax and escape his problems. But now he was faced with a new set of problems that he never could have anticipated. And to make matters worse, he couldn't even discuss his woes with his wife, who he had left behind in a fit of anger and regret. As the toilet paper crisis deepened, Peter couldn't help but feel a sense of absurdity wash over him. At first, he tried to make light of the situation. He joked with his new friends about the great toilet paper shortage, and they all had a good laugh. But as the days went on, the humor started to wear thin. The lines for the bathroom grew longer and more tense as everyone scrambled to conserve their precious rolls. As the toilet paper crisis on the cruise ship reached its peak, Peter couldn't help but feel like he was living in a horror movie. Every trip to the bathroom felt like a game of survival, as he tried to stretch his precious rolls as far as possible. He even found himself stockpiling toilet paper in his cabin, like some kind of hoarder. But it wasn't just the lack of toilet paper that was causing problems. The long lines for the bathroom had turned into a battleground, with people pushing and shoving to get their turn. Peter had even heard rumors of people sneaking into other cabins to use their toilet paper, leading to a series of petty thefts and confrontations. It was a dark and desperate time on the ship, and it seemed like there was no end in sight. As the days went on, the mood on board turned from frustration to desperation. People were snapping at each other over the slightest issues, and the once luxurious cruise felt more like a floating prison. But in the midst of all this chaos, Peter found a glimmer of hope. 
he started to see the absurdity of the situation and he couldn't help but laugh about this rare situation. Peter even caught sight of a few creative solutions, like people using washcloths or paper towels in lieu of toilet paper. It was a desperate measure, but one that many people were willing to take in order to avoid running out. As the days went on, the toilet paper crisis showed no signs of abating. The ship's crew had done their best to stretch their supplies as far as possible, but it was clear that they were running out of options. Peter couldn't help but feel a sense of dread as he watched the rolls of toilet paper in his cabin becoming less. He tried to distract himself with the ship's activities, but it was hard to enjoy himself when he was constantly worried about his next bathroom visit. He even started to avoid the buffet, knowing that he would have to use the bathroom after every meal. But the real low point came when Peter overheard a rumor that the ship's crew was hoarding toilet paper for themselves, leaving the guests to fend for themselves. Peter couldn't believe it. Was this really happening? Had he really paid good money to be stranded on a toilet paperless ship in the middle of the ocean? As the days went on, Peter made a conscious effort to change his attitude. He stopped dwelling on the toilet paper crisis and started to focus on the things that were going right in his life. He made new friends on the ship and enjoyed the activities and excursions on offer. And most importantly, he started to appreciate the small things in life, like a roll of toilet paper that didn't have to be rationed. As the crisis reached its peak, Peter found himself longing for the simple comforts of home. He missed his wife, who he had left behind in a fit of anger and regret. He missed the feeling of a soft, plush roll of toilet paper between his fingers. And most of all, he missed the sense of normalcy that had been stripped away from him on this wild and wacky cruise. He just wanted to get off the ship and go back to his normal life. But for now, he was stuck on this floating toilet paper nightmare. As the cruise reached its final destination, Peter couldn't wait to get off the ship. He had had enough of the cramped quarters, the long lines for the bathroom, and the constant stress of rationing his toilet paper. He vowed to never go on a cruise again and to work on repairing his relationship with his wife as soon as he returned home. As he stepped off the ship and onto solid ground, he couldn't help but feel a sense of relief wash over him. The toilet paper crisis was finally behind him and he was ready to start a new chapter in his life. Well, that was certainly a wild ride. Who would have thought that a simple pipe burst could turn into such a disaster? It is good to be reminded that sometimes the unexpected is just part of the adventure. Thank you for joining us on this episode of Wildest Cruise Ship Stories. We hope you enjoyed the journey and that you'll tune in next time for more incredible tales from the sea.